Hey gamers, so just wanted to make a quick little guide on how y'all can get dual wielding swords. Yeah, they look very cool. They are very good in my opinion. And yeah, all around just awesome. So only certain handles on the game can allow you to get the dual wielding stat. It's interesting how it works. It's actually a stat that counts as the dual wielding. I believe that there's only four handles in the game. I'll uh, put that up on screen. But essentially, you get the handle, and the only way to make things un like balanced, how to get a balanced sword, is you either use one-handed blades or like one-handed swords um, or daggers. You can also do unbalanced dual great swords if you're looking to make a funky build but I don't think that they're viable at all. Um, you can see in the video, I show my stats here. Uh, you can pause if you wanna copy them. But um, what I'm going for, and I feel like if you're going um, dual wielding, then what you'll likely also be going for is physical and dexterity. So you're gonna wanna have as much physical bonus and dexterity bonus as possible. The two, um, alterations of this that I think I found is maybe if you're doing dual shadow blades, um, dual king khaki cactus, king cactus, whatever, I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, if you're doing dual his swords because they scale, they also scale off of earth and wind. And then there's the one magic um, dual wielding handle that allows you to do that. Those are the alterations of that, but for the most part, you're going to be wanting to use um, physical and dexterity. Even I'm using the King Khaki stuff, but I just find that dexterity and physical is better. And then um, the Roll Rune helps with that too. It gives you a bunch of dexterity and the Agile Ring that helps too. Um, you're going to be wanting to look for the Berserking Enchant or the Agile Enchant, I believe it is, for... Um, dexterity and then legendary of course if you can find that and yeah it's as simple as that really if you're wondering about the footage in the background I'm doing a um, difficulty zero daily run on the frog dungeon very good way to get SP by the way just do difficulty zero and then if you have some way of healing you can probably get through it Luckily, Vampire actually helps in this aspect, but um, yeah, that's all there is to it, really. It's it's pretty simple um, to do dual wielding. Lots of DPS, shreds um, bosses, shreds enemies. You can see, like, even though these are difficulty zero guys, like this Dragagator, like, they just get shred. Enemies just get shred. And yeah, um, there will be an end part where I show me fighting the Lord Frog boss if you want to learn how to fight him and uh, yeah you can see kind of how the damage does so yeah if you've watched this far in the video consider liking liking and subscribing and yeah thank you